If you're looking for the best drones for kids, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Rise Tech Tello. The Rise Tech Tello is extremely unique when it comes to drone choices for kids because it is one of only a few models that have accurate flight stabilization sensors without an exorbitant price tag. We haven't found another model within this price range that a new drone operator is able to smoothly launch into a steady hover and then fly straight ahead in a line. The other models we tested don't have active stabilization. You have to practice consistently to achieve a good amount of control while flying. Because of the active stabilization, the Rise Tello provides kids and newbies with immediate flying fun without a major learning curve. There is also a trusty camera that will allow for fresh perspectives on familiar places. The biggest drawback of the Rise Tello is that there is no physical controller. Instead, it is flown with virtual joysticks on your phone's touchscreen. This makes the flight less engaging than with the controller in hand. Still, if you real controller in hand. Still, if you really want the full immersive experience and have additional funds to spend, you can purchase a compatible Bluetooth gaming controller. The Rise Tello's recorded video comes across as pretty choppy, but isn't any worse than most other models at this price point. Overall, this is an excellent drone for kids, and with an additional Bluetooth gaming controller, the Rise Tello is. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Ishin EO10 Mini. There's nothing quite like buzzing a tiny quadcopter around inside your house, and the Ishin EO10 Mini provides that entertainment at a rock bottom price. The included remote lets you fly with intuitive joystick controls. It has a beginner mode setting that scales the power back a bit and makes flying much easier. Then, once you feel you've graduated to the next level, you can switch it up to advanced mode for extra speed. If you like to tinker, there are many online tutorials about adding a camera that turns this drone into a first person view flyer. The big downside of the Ishii EO10 Mini is its short battery life. In beginner mode, flight times top out at around 5 minutes per charge, and they can be even less than that if you're flying fast. You can somewhat work around that if you don't mind keeping spare batteries around and switching them out often. And if you consider yourself on the handy side, consider yourself on the handy side, there are plenty of online tutorials for rigging the Ishii EO10 Mini with larger batteries. The number 3 position is held by DB Power X 400 w FPV. For those that want to fly an aerial camera at a bargain price, the DB Power X 400 w FPV is a great choice. At an impressively low cost, you get both a physical remote control and a real-time video feed to your smartphone which makes for an interesting and fun flying experience. It also offers a beginner-friendly headless mode that can make it more intuitive to fly. There is even the option of pairing the drone with a third-party first-person view headset to make it feel like you're actually in the cockpit. Before buying this drone, there are a couple of things to take into consideration. First, it requires some assembly before it can lift off the ground. For some kids, this could be fun. For others, just an obstacle to the fun. Also, the small camera produces grainy images, even when viewed on a small phone screen. However, we don't feel like this takes away from the experience. Don't feel like this takes away from the experience of getting a real-time video feed while flying. So if that's what you're after, this quadcopter is a next at number four. We have Holystone HS160 Shadow. The Holystone HS160 Shadow provides a decent camera and a slightly lagging real-time video downlink, all in a package that can fold down into a profile slim enough to fit in the back pocket of your jeans. It boasts a maximum flight time of 8 minutes and includes a spare battery, so it can keep the fun going even longer. If you want something with a camera that you can toss in your bag just in case the urge to fly strikes, this is a great choice. As with all models in this price range, the video from the Holystone HS160 Shadow is usable but certainly not high definition. There is also a trade-off in durability due to its small size. It feels a bit flimsier than most other models on this list. Finally, it does not have a headless mode. This is fine once you get the hang of flying, 
but many beginners appreciate having a headless mode when they're first learning to fly. The number, the number 5 position is held by Tozo Q1012X8TW. The Tozo Q1012X8TW is a perfect pick for people on the go. It folds down into a tiny package that can easily fit in a backpack. It also features a camera and a real-time video downlink that lets you see what the camera is seeing as you're recording it. Three flight modes allow for different flying experiences, including a beginner-friendly headless mode that orients the drone based on which way the pilot is facing. All this functionality can give you a feel of what flying a higher-end camera drone is like but without the higher-end price tag. The Tozo Q1012X8TW's biggest downside is its battery life. The average flight time before needing to recharge for most users was around 5 minutes. Most models in this price range can get 8-9 to nine minutes. That may not sound like a big difference, but that extra 3-4 to four minutes did feel like an eternity, especially especially if you have some not so patient kids waiting an hour for the battery to recharge. Also, like all models in this price range, the video this drone produces is okay if viewed on a small screen but quickly gets pixelated if you move it to anything larger than a smartphone. The number 6 position is dominated by UDI U818A. Nudging right up against our price limit, the UDI U818A carries one of the best cameras we've seen on a drone in this price range. It has two flight modes, a beginner and video-friendly slow mode and a full speed mode for whipping around the trees in the backyard. If you're having trouble staying oriented, it also has the headless mode which orients the drone based on the position of the controller, something many beginners find more intuitive. Both the propellers and prop guards are very flexible, meaning the drone will bend rather than break in most crashes. Although the maximum flight time is an average of 8 minutes, the drone comes with a spare battery and a portable battery charger so you can keep the fun going on for hours. While the UDI U818A does have a relatively good camera, the senior is quite small, so you have to manage your expectations. The video and certainly better than those from the DB Power X400 XFPV and about the same with those from the Tozo Q1012X8TW, but they still will look grainy on anything larger than a smartphone screen. You also don't get a real-time video feed, so you're essentially shooting video blind. Finally, the UDI lacks any sort of flight stabilizing sensors which make a world of difference on the identically priced Rise Tello. So while the UDI is a good choice, if you can find it on sale, if you're playing full price and have to pick between the two, we suggest going with the Rise Tello instead. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Holystone HS170 Predator. For those that look around your house and see obstacle courses ready to be flown through, the Holystone HS170 Predator is a fun little hummingbird to buzz around. In our testing, we found its flight performance to be on par with that of other comparable models and that it could stand up to the beating of failed attempts to shoot that gap between the lamp and bookshelf. Its battery supplies up to 8 minutes of flight time and charges up to just 50 minutes. If you want to keep the fun rolling, spare batteries are fairly inexpensive. The biggest downside of this drone is its price. It generally sells for a good bit, more than the similarly performing Ishin EO 10 Mini. Plus, the Predator's controller requires 6 AA batteries, 3 times as many as the Ishin. Since both of these drones perform very similarly, we only suggest getting the Predator Ishin if you can find it on sale. The number 8 position is held by Sima X5A1. While teeny tiny models like the Ishin EO10 Mini are fun to fly around the living room, sometimes you just want something that can handle the larger space of the backyard without worrying about light breezes or minor crashes. That's where the Sima X5A1 comes into play. It provides a fun, worry-free flight in a size that makes it feel like you're flying a real piece of machinery rather than a tiny toy. It also has a headless flight mode so that beginners can get oriented more easily. The Sima X5A1 lacks some of the other drones accoutrements in this size class like a camera or extended battery life. The battery maxes out at 5 minutes of flight time which is well short of the 8-10 to 10 minutes you can find on other similarly sized models. 
These shortcomings, however, are accurately reflected in Zuma's price. It sells for about half of what those camera equipped higher camera equipped higher stamina models cost. Next at number 9 we have Potensig A20. Compact and robust, this drone is not especially unique. But thanks to inbuilt pressure sensor, it's capable of hovering around without the operator's help and flying using the pilot friendly headless mode. In practice, that means the drone can be moved around a room using a single control stick which is easier than most video games. If you do crash, there are good solid prop guards. On the downside, the attempt to protect the battery with the flap is tidy but fiddly and don't be fooled by the claims of 16 minutes flight time. This is just a doubling of the 8 minute time for one battery since there are two in the box. That is nevertheless pretty good value and still a decent flight. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Holiton HD-02 Mini Drone. Taking a mix of inspiration from the Pro brands and other toys, this drone offers the almost expected 3D flips and headless mode. But thanks to the addition of 5 sensors, it can also be directly wafting by a hand near the hovering drone. It'll immediately back off. This also has an obvious safety bonus. Though it should also be noted that the propeller guards are better than on many drones in this list. Other features that make this an appealing choice are the circle mode, choice of 3 speed modes, and the design of the batteries which are much easier to insert and remove without putting stress on delicate cables or lithium battery cells than some other compact drones. That's all for today, we upload tech product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.